Are you making great money but wondering if you're saving and investing it in the smartest way possible? Welcome back to Empower and Thrive. Today, we're diving into a very interesting topic. What is the optimum order for your investments? Many people are making a good income, yet still feeling like they're not maximizing their financial potential. If that sounds like you, don't worry, you're not alone. Today, we're breaking down the optimal order to save and invest your money, designed specifically for people like yourself. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear roadmap to grow your wealth efficiently and effectively. First things first, before you think about investing, you need to establish a solid emergency fund. This is your financial safety net, and it's essential. Life is unpredictable, and an emergency fund is there to catch you when unexpected expenses pop up. Aim to save at least three to six months of living expenses in a highly liquid account like a savings account or money market account. This ensures that when life throws you a curveball, whether it's a job loss, a major medical expense, or even a car repair, you have the cash available to handle it without dipping into your investments or going into debt. An emergency fund gives you peace of mind, and having that stability is the foundation of any solid financial plan. Once your emergency fund is in place, it's time to focus on your 401k. If your employer offers a matching contribution, this is one of the first places you want to put your money. The employer match is essentially free money. Every dollar your employer matches is like a bonus that goes straight into your retirement savings. Not only that, but the contributions you make also reduce your taxable income, giving you an immediate tax benefit. Ideally, you should aim to contribute at least the percentage your employer will match, maxing out your contributions to take full advantage of the tax-deferred growth. This can significantly boost your retirement savings over time and help you secure a more comfortable future. After you've secured your emergency fund and maxed out your employer match, the next step is to deal with high interest debt. Debts like credit card balances and personal loans often carry interest rates that can be crippling to your financial progress. The longer you hold onto these debts, the more interest compounds, making it harder to get ahead. Prioritizing paying off high interest debt is crucial because every dollar you're losing to interest is a dollar that could be working for you in investments. Pay off these debts as quickly as possible, starting with the highest interest rates first, so you can free up cash to invest for the long term. Once your high interest debt is under control, it's time to consider a Roth IRA. The beauty of the Roth IRA is that once your money is in the account, it grows tax-free, and you can withdraw it tax-free in retirement. This is especially powerful for retirement living, as it provides a way to diversify your tax exposure in retirement and potentially save thousands in taxes down the line. Now if you make a high income, Roth IRAs may be out of reach due to income limits. At that point, a traditional IRA would be your best option. There are no income limits for contributions for a traditional IRA, only income limits on how much of your contribution you can deduct from your taxes. But if you don't deduct, you can contribute regardless of income amounts. If you are set on only having a Roth, once you contribute to a traditional IRA, you can convert it to a Roth at any point. The next investment step is a health savings account or HSA. HSAs offer what's known as a triple tax benefit your contributions are tax deductible, the growth is tax-free, and withdrawals for qualified medical expenses are also tax-free. Unlike FSAs, HSAs roll over each year, so your savings don't disappear at the end of the year. And here's an often overlooked advantage. After age 65, you can use HSA funds for non-medical expenses without a penalty, although you may have to pay regular income taxes on those withdrawals. Essentially, your HSA can function like an additional retirement account, giving you even more flexibility with your savings while still offering powerful tax advantages. Next, if you have children and want to invest in their future education, 529 plans are an excellent option. These accounts are specifically designed for education savings. 
Money saved in a 529 plan grows tax-free and won't be taxed upon withdrawal as long as you use it for qualified education expenses, which includes things like tuition, books, living expenses, computers, etc. They can also be used to save for private school tuition for K through 12. Whether you're saving for college, private school, or other educational pursuits, a 529 plan can help your investments grow faster by shielding them from taxes. Plus, some states offer additional tax benefits for 529 plan contributions, such as possibly being able to deduct your contribution or get a tax credit. Finally, once you've maxed out your tax advantaged accounts, it's time to explore taxable investment accounts like brokerage accounts. Unlike retirement accounts, taxable accounts have no contribution limits, no income restrictions, and offer much more flexibility. You can invest in a broad range of assets, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, and access your money whenever you need it without worrying about penalties. This makes taxable accounts an excellent tool for long-term wealth building and financial independence. They're especially useful if you want the freedom to retire early or fund major life goals before traditional retirement age. So, what's the optimal order to save and invest? Start by building your emergency fund, then contribute to your 401k up to the employer match. Next, focus on eliminating any high interest debt. After that, consider a Roth IRA, maxing out your HSA, and setting up a 529 plan if you have children. Finally, once you've covered these bases, invest in taxable accounts to continue growing your wealth with flexibility. By following this strategy, you'll be positioning yourself for long-term financial success and security. Thanks for tuning in to Empower and Thrive, and remember, financial growth is all about making smart, intentional choices. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, keep thriving.